Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about one thing I hate in Battlefront 2 Classic. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you're probably thinking I'm going to talk about the Droidica. Now, the Droidica I don't hate, I despise. So, I'm going to have to make another video on that or something because, mate... Flippin', don't get me started on Droidicas, man. But there's something else about Battlefront 2 Classic which I hate, which is tank players. First of all, drop a like on the video, subscribe as well. We're nearly at 800 subscribers. Damn, it's been a, it's been a journey so far, I'll tell you that. And, uh, you know, why do I hate tank players? Well, there's a huge reason why. Uh, first of all, they're obnoxious. They might be slightly autistic. But there's actually a few other reasons as well. So I play the online like a ton, like a bunch. I'm super addicted to the online, right? And you ever like get a really good game on online Battlefront 2 Classic and you know, all the players are really good and you know, you're it's like flipping really competitive. You're shooting snipers across the map and everything like that. And then you're getting in close range fights with shotgun flipping players, engineer players, and you're, you know, flipping assault and you get two headshots, boom. And at the edge of your eye, across the other end of the map, you see that a tank has got a red health bar because somebody's just gone in it. Now, you're out here thinking, shit. But at the same time, you're kind of thinking, well, the tank's on the other end of the map. It might not even come over here. So I'm going to have a gunfight on the left side of the map. And you get a few kills. You know, you're rocking the damage. And it's looking good. You're taking out a few people. And then, flipping out of nowhere, you're just blasted into oblivion. Okay, you are dead. You are done for. The corpse has exploded. There are flipping bombs dropping. Like, King John Um has literally just arrived in the battlefield. And you're getting salty at this moment in time. And it's not just you. It's the other players as well. Because guess what? Somebody on your team has just spawned in as a tank to counter the tank. Like, there's no other counter to the tank other than being in the tank yourself. Now, you're kind of thinking, well, my teammate's in a tank. Maybe should I hop in the turret and then give him a bit more support and whatever. Uh, but at the same time, you're like, tanks are boring. Tanks are so boring. Why do I want to play a tank? I'm not, I refuse to play a tank. So you refuse to play a tank. Your team gets flipping stomped on because nobody wants to play a tank because tanks are boring. There's always that one kid in the server that just wants to be a tank player. And nobody else wants to play a tank other than the fact that, oh shoot, there's a tank player. I've got to play tank now. Now you're thinking it can't get any worse, surely. Somebody's in a tank. They've ruined the whole match. Like it literally can't get any worse, but it somehow does. Now, people have this strategy and it's so gay and it needs to be gone. So basically what they do is they also put mines on the tanks. Now, if you're too close, then you're going to get blown up. If you're too far, you're going to get blown up. Literally, you are dead no matter what. There is no running from this. You are actually going to be dead and you're going to rage quit the game. They put like flipping free mines on a tank. So there's like, you know, you're not going to like dodge the mine on the tank or something. Like, no, it's going to kill you. And also, do you know what's mental? Some players have speeder bikes. So some people are speeding around the whole flipping map, right? And they've got mines on their speeder bikes. They're not even bothering about shooting you with their normal like flipping turret on the speeder bike. Like, they just want to run over you and flip and blow you up with a mine. It's just, it's psychopathic behavior. They need to be studied. They are psychologically, they are the devil. I feel like it's one of those things in Battlefront 2 where it's like, okay, if there was team coordination and like there were whole like setups with like a tank on one side, tank on the other side, and they also had these different routes and strategies, turrets going around the side to protect them, like maybe it would be a bit more fun or whatever. I don't know if it even would be a bit more fun. I think the thing is, I just don't really like tanks or starfighters, spaceships or anything in Battlefront 2. I kind of just like class warfare, you know? That sounds really bad. But then again, I guess it makes Battlefront, like, a bit more unique. But then again, Battlefield's got it. Like, I don't know, it's just that thing. I just like going around with, like, an assault rifle and just, like, bopping people in the head. I think that's what's the most fun part about the game. And also maybe chucking, like, grenades down the corridors and Tantive 4. Grenade spam is fine, but tanks, they need to be removed. They need to be illegal. No, nah, like, I, you know, I just, I don't like it. But would I wouldn't remove from the game? Not really. Like, the game would feel a bit empty of album, I think, to some degree. I'm done rambling on, though. Why don't you tell me in the comments what you hate about Battlefront 2 Classic? I want to know what are the things that people hate the most. Because there's definitely a few things I can think of off the top of my head. I and, mean, bro, that Droidica video, that's going to be coming eventually. Bro, screw Droidicas. I flipping hate Droidicas more than this shit. It's actually, bro, okay, I'm not even getting there. just started yet. But, yeah, have a good one. And, uh, well, shoot. It's not even flipping 10 o'clock in the morning. I made a video. This is like some owl type. Bro, I'm, I'm nocturnal. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you very much enjoyed. And if you enjoy the video so much that you watch the video five times on repeat, then what you could do is you could buy a channel membership for this channel. Now, it costs 99p a month. Okay, pennies, right? Flipping good deal, I say. 
you know some people are out here trying to sell a membership for around 20 pounds some people for 100 pounds for some emojis right but the emojis they have they're like garbage anyway i've got some flipping good emojis so you know you might want to get these emojis instead but then again would i ever really buy a channel membership from somebody probably not you know i'll probably buy gold instead bro i'm like the worst advertisement for my own shit this is flipping okay right have a good one guys see you later